New at noon, former Cuyahoga County Auditor Frank Russo is back in federal court today for a status hearing and to find out when he will start his prison sentence. Good afternoon. I'm Paul Kiska in today for Leon Bibb. For the past two years, Frank Russo has been testifying against others charged in the ongoing county corruption probe. All that time, he has stayed out of prison. News Channel 5's chief investigator Ron Regan joins me now. And Ron, what happened in court today? Well, Paul, Frank Russo will report, he'll self-report to a federal prison in Loretto, Pennsylvania, sometime between now and roughly the beginning of December. Those details were worked out this morning. He arrived at the federal courthouse here in Akron with his attorney, Roger Sinnenberg. Now, once inside, one of the key details involves reducing his sentence for cooperating with federal prosecutors. Russo testified against former Commissioner Jimmy DeMora and two other defendants. No decision is going to be made on that, though, until he testifies at another corruption trial scheduled for February. That one involves Cleveland attorney Anthony Calabrese, who faces bribery and racketeering charges involving his business deals with the county. When this hearing was over today, Russo emerged from the courthouse and apologized for his actions. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to my family, my co-workers, and each and every resident of Cuyahoga County. Um, I regret what I've done. I'm very truly sorry for what I've done with my heart. But if you look back, there's nothing I can do about it. But what it can do is make a difference in the future. I'm going to take positive, positive steps forward to try to touch people's lives to make life better. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So, Paul, the big question, of course, is just how much time is he going to serve in federal prison? You remember he was sentenced to 22 years, but because of what's called substantial cooperation, legal observers say that could be cut down to roughly somewhere in the teens, maybe 14 to 16 years. That decision will not be made until after he testifies in February at that other corruption trial. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.